Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the choreography design once again. I believe we're doing great this morning. I'm going to show you how to make a, a restaurant's logo on your Android, Android smartphone using your PC lab. And I'm going to teach you step by step how you can present this logo using a nice marker. I'm going to learn a trick because this is a simple logo which you can actually achieve whether you are a designer or you are a business owner. You can learn the tips on how you come up with a particular logo like this. And at the end of this training, I mean at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to know step by step process on how you can come up with a simple and attractive logo, communicating logo in details without wasting much of our time let's get started the first thing to do before you make any design is to consider the size i normally like to use a square size for my design majorly and the size of this uh i mean the the the, the number of this size is one to a zero by one to a zero which the height and the width will be the same after that has been done you can go back to initiate because we have a beast kitchen as a brand name i will take the initial which is b to form my logo then select its font look at a better font here which i can use anyone good i want to use a box veil we have a basque veil font that is bs k v i double l this is it after you select that you go to the size and make sure you increase it to 450 adjust manually to go beyond that because this will form the basis of our logo after you achieve that position into the center then i have a spoon not to waste or stress myself downloading this to small then modify it okay i i modify it by turning to what i actually wanted so i'm going to increase this okay so i'm going to position that here then after position, I will rotate it a little bit to one side. Okay, this is perfect. Once this has been achieved, the rest are so simple. I will head him back to my gallery as well, then select the second one. Increase the size for this, stretch it out a little bit. Then the next thing you are going to do to make everything work well. I'm going to position this after increasing the size very well. I will hang it up here, then adjust this a little bit. Then bring the top one, bring it around there. Not necessary that the mouth should be the same. You can rotate a little bit to give it a nice position. Okay, perfect. It could be like this, which is okay. But reduce the size so that it won't go beyond each other to make it look exactly like this. Okay, perfect. Now that you are this has been done, then the rest are so simple. The two stuff is too long, so I need to make the two fake and spoon. After measuring them, I will reduce the size a little bit, position it along this particular area, then change the color. To what change the color to black okay after changing the color to black i will go to the stroke apply a nice stroke and let it be okay but not too much let it be go well. okay when you are able to do that go back to the letter b which is initial then you give it a black color click on plus sign and enable it to be more darker 
Remember, if you are if you actually want to change the color to this, before you go on with the merging, you can change the color. I have two different colors which I want to combine. The first one is sage green. This sage green represents cool and represents natural. The cream color which I want to combine to be the second one is so attractive and communicative as well and call for attention. This is the uh, tips behind these two colors I'm going to combine because this natural, talking about the sage color which represents natural, we spell out what the kitchen is all about. Then the cream color which is attractive it's attracting and communicating we tell the reader or the uh, viewer or the looker what the whole brand is all about so i have variety of these and i can come up with all these things will be lighter because color is categorical in nature and what do i mean by this we have a blue color blue color color still have a variety we have light blue we have add blue, we have deep blue as well. We have different kind of blue, we have the different kind of sage green, we have we have the lighter one, we have the deep one, different category. That's why it's categorical in nature. Having said this, I know we we're able to grab something with that. So I want to change the color now to something like gray. After changing this then the next thing i want to use or if i don't change it to this green i can majorly use one particular color because of the kind of a background which i want to use i will make sure that uh, i change this to this which can give me exactly what i want it can be modified a little bit to make it more darker after that has been done let me change the whole process this blue initial Today's, I have the color pa palette already, which I want to bring in because this is where I got it. So let me use my color picker to pick the color. Okay, having thought about the color, I just went to Google and searched for sage green and the cream color. And when you look at these, the two are more perfect. Okay. Perfect, which means I deal with the natural alone. Okay, perfect. So now increase this a little bit and adjust just to make it more deeper. After that has been done, then the next thing we need to do, we need to do some stuff. Or we need to do some stuff. So let me merge the two together, not to waste our time. When you're able to do that, just go to the erase color and you erase everything. But when you look at it, it's too much. What can we do next? It's very simple. You just turn back to a mesh. Then you go back by reducing the stroke. Okay. Reducing the stroke while. Reducing the stroke. Don't let it be too much. Okay, when you're able to reduce the stroke, there's something we need to do, okay? You need to bring out this. Or better still, let's use a draw tool. The draw tool by selecting the white and uh, you paste everything. Just paste to cover this. Don't let it accept. Since the middle one is what we are not interested with. Then send them to the back. Okay, send it to the back. Now bring it on top of the letter B. Have everything mesh. Go to erase color. Erase them. Now you have the natural look of what you are looking for. After that has been done, you can position it at one corner. Okay. Now we have the two variety of color. So you can just smooth it if you want or increase the size. But we are not increasing the size for this. Let it just be like that. After this has been done, we can apply a stroke 
just a tiny one to make everything looks seem cool okay just one when you're able to do that or you make it to be two when you're able to do that just position it around there now go to the text area then you type the brand name which is Beast Kitchen Beast Kitchen go to the font area select the suitable font of your choice so let's assume want to use this let's see how it look and i guess this is natural and could be able will be able to go for what we want but one thing is bold it a little bit to make it look more presentable and by adding hierarchy once you're able to do that, the next thing you do is to centralize this as well. Every seem, everything seems to work perfectly. You are going to apply the same color by giving it this. Then we'll have this kitchen. Then we'll go with, uh, we'll go with the brand name. So let's have the three dots where we'll have text beyond the imagination beyond text beyond imagination or let's say imagination 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 so when you're able to do that we can do the rest by making sure that this still at the center and making it look cool so instead of me maintaining the two color i decided to maintain one to make it uh, look awesome both the sage light green i mean the sage green the lighter one and the deeper one so i'll give it the same color so we'll look at uh we'll look at this whether we can board it to make it more presentable after that to reduce the color i mean the size a little bit make sure you position it to the center after you're able to do that let it have a breathing space by giving it like five breathing space now everything seems to work perfectly look at the beast kitchen give it a breathing space like two recentralize by using your relative position Look at the letter B, which you use to form the basis of your logo. Make sure you check whether it's been centralized. Having completed the whole style, go to the color, I mean, go to the background and remove. Make sure you save them with ultra and with PNG format. After you're able to do that, that is PNG which can be attached to anything then you can make sure that you give this a background white will go along with it after you are able to do that you can select the tray then tap here by centralize it without merging once you are able to do that the rest are so simple the next thing i want to do i want to filter this to see how it will work by adding the saturation just want it to be more deeper. Why the brightness? Let's see. The brightness can be reduced. We look at the hue. We don't need that. So which means we saturate a little bit to something like 10. Then look at these as well. It can be saturated. Why am I saturating it? Because the color is too cool. So instead of that, I want it to be more saturated. I can saturate it but can make it more look more bolder so which will make it more showing and make it more feasible now everything seems to be cool i will go to the saving area then have all the stuff saved i'm having it contemplating on the size is the i mean the color i mean the background color the background color is not really cool but i believe adding this could be the best we should as everything is really cool. So having select this, I'm having uh, a feeling about the kind of backgrounds which I want to use as markup. 
But now I'm thinking another thing entirely. But let's check it out. Go to your Chrome browser. Get into your Chrome browser. Then you go to Photo P website. When you get to Photo P website, let's first of all use the template inside this uh, Photo P by tapping the template. Then you allow it to load or you refresh. Okay, refresh. Cancel that's previous work. Refresh if it does not, you can close as much as possible browser that you have opened before. This could be the case, it could be lagging. Selecting that, you see it responded now. So let's go to the template. So, checking getting to the template, you can select the one of your choice. So take it for instance, I'm going for this, calling a glass markup. This is very common markup which you can use. So if you don't know how to get the markup, if you're a beginner, you can start with this by using the templates which are already embedded inside this particular website. Got in this, then you tap on the layer and double tap the logo here. Then hide the inspiring B there. Go to the file and click open and place. Access where you have the logo being saved. If you take it for instance, I have the logo being saved here. When it's downloading, don't expand it too much. If you do, this one do normally scale. Do normally, it's not automatically fit into the background like other one. So you need to scale it a little because it will enlarge itself automatically. So tap on the file and click on save with smart object. Don't tell me you don't see it smart object on your phone if you actually follow this process. So once you see smart object updated, tap here. Okay, tap on the glass, 3D glass here. Be looking at the screen of your phone in no time you see the result. And look at the amazing things. Everything seems to come out clean. You can still do a kind of adjustment, but we can view a little bit by zoom out to see what you are doing. When you see it, you make it look more brighter. Tap on this light which is having a dark. Look at this left part. It's too dark, but we want everything to come out. You go to the fill area, then click on 40. Then let's see how it look now. You can see it's more brighter than the previous one. The next thing we can do, tap on this effect. Go to the fill as well and tap on 40, not 400. Let's see how it look. It's not really give us what we actually wanted. So let me make it 90. This is cool, right? So the next thing is this effect as well has to be compromised. So we need to go to the size and tap 70. Everything seems to be natural now. Then the next thing to do, we look at this layer. Let's hide it and see what is even tacking. Then you can see we are making sense. Then we'll go to the other effort, which we have here. The effect we have here like this one, we look at it whether we can see how we can modify that one by reducing it. So we go in there, having it to be 70, then you tap OK. Now everything come out clean. Now let's check out the output before we try another logo. Tap on export, then you tap on PNG, wait for a second. It will bring out a saving window option. Tap on the save, then it will ask you whether you want to watch a short uh, ad before you can proceed to download. Since we are not subscribed to this, tap on OK. It automatically bring you an ad, which we still seek for your consent to continue. Continue. So in four seconds, it should continue. Okay. Now it's downloading. It's already downloaded. Let's check out. Then look at the results. You can see the results of what you actually process. Is this not amazing? Thanks for watching. I believe we'll learn something from here. God bless you.